I know you guys love my meal prep series, so I thought I'd start a little something new. And instead of showing you individual ingredients that you can meal prep, how about three meal prep ideas for summer salads? These are make ahead and big batch friendly recipes that you can whip up at the beginning of the week and then enjoy individual portions throughout the week with no extra cooking required. Because if you're anything like me, you're looking for simple and easy recipes for summer, but also ones that are light, fresh, and healthy. If you like this idea, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss any future videos. But today, let's dive right in. The first salad we're gonna make is a cucumber shrimp salad that's a delicious twist on my classic shrimp salad, but this one has cucumber, green onion, fresh dill, and a creamy lime dressing. To get started, let's make the dressing so it can chill in the fridge, and it's a simple combination of a third cup sour cream, a third cup mayonnaise, two tablespoons lime juice, and two teaspoons of lime zest, which you should be able to get both from one large lime. Then add two tablespoons of roughly chopped fresh dill, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one minced garlic clove, and about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt or sea salt. Stir that together until it's well combined and then store it in the fridge to stay nice and cold while you make the rest of the salad. The next step is to cook two pounds of peeled and deveined shrimp. So bring a pot of water to a boil and add the shrimp. Cook them for about two to three minutes until they're pink and opaque. And the great thing about shrimp is that they cook so darn fast, so they always make for easy recipes, including this one. While the shrimp are cooking, you can prepare an ice water bath, and once they're fully cooked, just use a slotted spoon or skimmer to transfer them from the pot to an ice water bath. And side note, if you need a new skimmer, I love mine and use it all of the time in the kitchen, so I'll link it below. The shrimp can just hang out in the ice water bath for a bit while you prepare the other ingredients for the salad, and that includes dicing up one English cucumber. You want a small dice on this cucumber so that the pieces are bite-sized and match the size of the diced shrimp in the final salad. So in other words, you want a smaller dice than say quarter slices, which is what's commonly used in salads. I do this by slicing the cucumber into rounds, then stack a few on top of each other, and then slice about three times across in both directions. But there are many ways to dice a cucumber, so if you have another preferred method, go for it. Next, thinly slice up three green onions. I use finely diced red onion in my classic shrimp salad recipe, but I love the green theme with the cucumber and green onions in this one. But if you happen to have red onion on hand, feel free to swap that in. At this point, the shrimp should be fully cooled, so drain them in a colander and then slice them up into small pieces. I'll usually chop each shrimp about six to eight times, depending on how big they are. If you guys have made my classic shrimp salad, you know that the shrimp are left whole, but I love the smaller consistent dice on this recipe. It almost makes it feel a bit more like a creamy ceviche with all of these little bite-sized pieces. And once the shrimp are all chopped up, that's it in terms of cooking and prep work. See, I told you this was a super simple recipe. So let's finish it up. Add the shrimp to a large mixing bowl along with the cucumber and see how well the size of the pieces match, the green onion and the creamy lime and dill dressing. Then stir it all together. You can transfer this recipe to a serving bowl if you're planning to eat it right away or share it, but if you'd like to meal prep and store it for the week, you can put it straight into storage containers. I'm using my glass Weck jars for this one, which I have linked below, and there's about four servings in this recipe, though you can easily double it if you've got more mouths to feed. And feel free to store this recipe in one large container as well, rather than four smaller containers. It's really up to you. But it will stay good in the fridge for about three to four days. All right, next up is this mango curry chicken salad that is amazing and honestly my current favorite salad. You can find this recipe in my Healthy Meal Prep Cookbook and shameless plug for my cookbook because if you love the recipes I'm showing you today, this is an entire cookbook full of similar recipes that you can make ahead and meal prep. So if you haven't bought it yet, here's your nudge to go buy it. To get started with this recipe, you're going to poach two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And to do that, place the chicken in a large pot and then cover the chicken by about an inch of cold water. Add a pinch of kosher salt, bring the water to a gentle boil, then reduce the heat to a low simmer, cover the pot and cook the chicken for about eight to 12 minutes or until an instant read thermometer reads 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Use tongs to transfer the chicken to a plate and let it rest for a couple of minutes so that it's no longer steaming. Then place it in the fridge until it's completely cooled, about 15 minutes or so. 
You can multitask while the chicken is cooling and prep the other ingredients for the salad, which includes dicing up two mangoes. Juicy mangoes are one of my favorite fruits, and the sweetness of the mango combined with the curry spice is seriously a match made in heaven. Similar to the cucumber in the previous recipe, there are oh so many ways to peel and dice a mango, and you'll need two of them for this recipe. Today, I'm slicing the cheeks away from the seed and then using a large spoon to scoop out the flesh. Sometimes I'll dice before scooping and sometimes I'll dice after scooping. It really just depends on what I'm making. But also, don't forget the extra flesh that's on the side of the seed, so make sure you dice that up as well. Next, dice up two ribs of celery, and I'll usually slice them once or twice lengthwise, depending on how big they are, before slicing across and placing the diced pieces in a little prep bowl. In terms of the onion for this recipe, I'm using green onion again, though this time you'll need four of them because the salad is a little bit bigger. And when it comes to slicing the green onion, make sure you slice up both the green and white parts as the whole thing can be used in the salad. To give the salad a little crunch, which is a nice contrast to the creamy spiced dressing that we'll get to here in a second, roughly chop up about a half a cup of raw cashews. And I do recommend raw rather than roasted if you can find them, though you can always swap in another type of nut as well. You guys know I'm always a fan of fresh herbs, and in my classic chicken salad recipe, I use fresh tarragon, but in this mango curry version, I'm using parsley and cilantro. And you'll need about two tablespoons roughly chopped of each. There's no need to measure here, you can just eyeball the amount, and once you've got those chopped up, add them to the same prep bowl. At this point in time, your chicken breast should now be fully cooled, and it's really important that they are 100% completely cooled with no residual heat in the middle, otherwise they will melt the mayo-based dressing, or at the very least, make it a bit runny, and you don't want that. After you slice the chicken breast into strips across, dice it up into bite-sized pieces, and then set it aside because it's now time to make the dressing. And to do that, add one cup of mayonnaise to a small mixing bowl, along with three tablespoons of lemon juice from about one lemon, and one tablespoon of curry powder. That's it. Now tell me that wasn't the easiest dressing ever. Give that a stir until it's well mixed and creamy, and then let's get to assembling the salad. Add the chicken to a large mixing bowl, along with the diced mango, celery, green onion, chopped cashews, parsley, and cilantro. Then pour the creamy curry dressing on top, season with salt and pepper, and stir it all together. In my cookbook, I call this a next level chicken salad, and that couldn't be more true. The blend of juicy sweet mango, spicy curry, vibrant herbs, and crunchy cashew bits in a lusciously creamy base is simply divine. Once again, you can serve this salad up in a large bowl, or you can place it in storage containers for the week. And for this recipe, I'm using my glass lock containers. This recipe makes a bit more than the first recipe, about six servings or so, and it'll stay good for four to five days in the fridge. The last salad is a reader favorite recipe from the website that just so happens to be vegetarian, and it's my Mediterranean chickpea salad. We'll start by making the dressing first, and it's my easy lemon vinaigrette recipe. You'll need a third cup of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon of honey or maple syrup, one minced garlic clove, and then a little salt and pepper to taste. Whisk that together until it's fully emulsified, and then just set it aside for now. The healthy ingredients in this salad recipe start with one English cucumber, and instead of slicing it into rounds first, this time I'll slice it in half lengthwise, then in half again, so that when I cut across, I'll have quarter slices. Like I mentioned previously, I never seem to cut my cucumbers the same way from one recipe to the next. But once that's done, add it to a little prep bowl, or in all honesty, you can just dump everything into one large mixing bowl. Next, dice up one bell pepper. I'm using red today, but you could use any color. And given how often I use bell peppers in my recipes, you guys should be masters at removing the seeds and dicing them up by now. And of course, don't forget to dice up the top and bottom pieces before adding them to a bowl. Keeping the red theme going, you'll want to slice in half two cups of grape or cherry tomatoes. I prefer grape tomatoes as they're just a little bit smaller, but cherry tomatoes work and can be quartered if need be as well. 
Even larger tomatoes like Roma's will work in this recipe if you want to dice a few of those up, so the tomato variety is really up to you. In terms of the onion for this recipe, you'll need a quarter cup of diced red onion. And since chopping onions are one of my least favorite things, you'll always find me chopping half an onion at a minimum and then saving the rest of the diced onion to use in other recipes. And that's what I'm doing today as well. I'll measure out the quarter cup or so I need for today's recipe, and then I'll put the leftover onion in a stasher bag. Meal prepped onion is great to toss in breakfast egg scrambles or stir fries throughout the week. And the last ingredient you'll need to slice or dice is a quarter cup of roughly chopped parsley. So once that's done, set it aside. The main ingredient in plant-based protein in this recipe is chickpeas, and you'll need two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas. Drain those in a colander, give them a good rinse until the starchy water is no longer all bubbly and foamy, and then toss them into your large mixing bowl. Add the cucumber, tomatoes, bell pepper, onion, and parsley. And then crumble four ounces of feta cheese on top. And I like to keep it fairly chunky as it will naturally break down a bit once you stir. Lastly, pour the dressing on top, and I usually use about half of the lemon vinaigrette recipe, and then save the rest to use throughout the week. Though, you can use as much or as little as you'd like. Similar to the other salads we've made today, you can either transfer this recipe to a large serving bowl if you want to enjoy it right away, or place it in storage containers. This recipe makes a good amount, about eight servings, so you will definitely be set with plenty of meals not only for yourself, but others as well. I'll also add that this is a great dinner party salad recipe because of the larger serving size and that it holds up so well to storage. Though that's really the recurring theme of all of the salad recipes today, that they're durable enough to last several days in the fridge. Hopefully these salads gave you some healthy inspiration for easy summer meals. And if you liked this theme, hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what other themes you'd like to see next. And don't forget that I have many, many more meal prep friendly recipes on my website and in my healthy meal prep cookbook.